Hi guys, Keith Sparks here, and today we're going to be talking about foam rolling the adductor group. Now the adductor group is the muscles on the inside of the thigh. They're very important at stabilizing our body and our pelvis whenever we're moving in space, but they go highly ignored in, in their role and their function and the tissue quality of the adductor group. So today we're going to show you a test that you can do to identify if adductor tightness is a problem for you, and some foam rolling tricks. Okay? So if Rachel follows me over here, it's called a six inch step down. Now you can do this anywhere. If you got a step stool at home, if you got some stairs, put your hand on the, on the railing in case if you're afraid of falling. All it is, is I want you to go down, stand nice and tall on one leg, go down, touch the heel, and come back up, okay? And Rachel, would you mind sliding over this way so they can see you? Perfect. Now what I want you to look for is when you go down, is if you start doing this number here rotating, or a lot of times you'll see this where the, the knee and the pelvis start merging in this way. So we want to stay nice and tall. Here and back up. If we start doing this here, it's showing that the adductor group, because it attaches to the pubic bone and the knee, is coming inwards to try to stabilize the body going down in space. We don't want that. Now there's several other things that could be going on here too, but this is just one thing that you can do to help identify if adductor tightness is a problem for you. So if you're seeing your hip drop, hip height, or body rotating in on the knee, I want you to get down and start foam rolling this area. So I'm gonna actually switch from the video to this other leg. We're gonna do this with a bent knee. Most athletic events occur with a bent knee and some hip flexion. You can also do this with a straight leg, but we'll cover that for another video. What I want you to do is get down on your, on your forearms and I want you to bring your hip up and bend your knee. Start from the inside of your knee and foam roll all the way up to your pubic bone. And just roll back. Come here, nice pop. And as you get closer to the pubic bone is when a lot of you will really start feeling the tension. I want you to find a spot, take a couple breaths, and just breathe out and just relax. All right, this is an area where there's a lot, a lot of tension for a lot of people. If you come back, you can come forward even. Keep the knee and the hip bent, and if you need to, change the angle of the foam roller. Try to always keep it perpendicular to the thigh. That's the best way. You don't want it to be straight with it because you can't foam roll. Keep it perpendicular to the angle of the thigh bone. Back. Find a good spot. And this breathing out is very, very important. These adductors turn on a lot of times because the brain is registering instability in an area. So we gotta teach the brain it's okay to let this muscle group relax while you do some strength training for other muscles to help improve the function at the hip and the pelvis. So give these tips a shot and definitely check out the six inch step down. It's a great test. It tells you a lot of different things but it can definitely show you if you have some adductor tightness. Thank you.